Not really a very uplifting way of starting a video, is it? Showing you a really dark, depressing card. Okay, I'll find one at random. Well, not that random. I'll find one that's got more uplifting colours in it that people actually like to see. People like to see this one. This is nice. This is very friendly. It's all relationshipy and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, the more people see this, maybe this becomes the thumbnail of the video. Maybe more people will actually watch the bloody thing. All right. <laughs> My name is Nick, I am the Great and Glorious, soon to be famous one day Nick Dutch, back again one more time, giving you another card reading in my series of three card readings. Here we go. This is going out generally to anyone who's watching this, this is not specifically for any particular specific person, and so therefore, you know, this is a time of contemplation for you, that one moment in your day where you can... Oh, okay, I'm just going to like, let you know, relax, set my brain to factory settings, watch Nick Dutch do a, a tarot reading, think things through, maybe I can listen to him and get something from it, I don't know, let's just do it. Here we go! Three cards. Number one, number two, number three. Ooh. Two uprights, one reversed, each of them is a major arcana card. Maybe that is significant to you, maybe that isn't. Remember, of course, that in the ancient traditional world of tarot, the major arcana signified things are to do with faith or spirituality or religion. Okay? That's what it was. Therefore, something divine, something divine bringing about divine understanding into your existing dynamic in, of, uh, of your life and so on and so forth. Adjustments seeing things in perspective the light and the dark in balance things are the way they are being in a state of acceptance doing things to adjust the balance in your life bringing about a better energy energy somehow when everything is in its rightful place and you therefore feel more structured just like when you've um, I mean, it's, this is like the spring and the, and the summer, isn't it? So at this time of the year, if you're doing a big clear out of your house and you throw lots of garbage into the bin and you throw it out, you do strangely feel less mentally cluttered, don't you? All right? So what else can you get rid of? Not just in terms of physical things, but also in terms of emotional things and psychological things and attitudes and values which served you well once, but isn't, doesn't quite fit. Just like uh, when you're a child, you have your favorite woody jumper that you like to wear all the time. But eventually it has to be thrown away because like, you know, it's frayed at the elbows and it doesn't fit you anymore. You know, maybe there's things in your life which just don't fit you anymore. Maybe you've outgrown a few things. Maybe there's people in your life that unless you hold a conversation with them about the ways in which they're growing, you can't grow in the relationship with them. All right, so you can take out of the situation negative things through talking through the things which need to be talked through. Just a point of view for you there, okay? Second card, well, in this case labeled art, it is the 14th major. And I see this as being collaboration. I see this um, expression of art as being when you've got different people together, all of them with different skills, perspectives, understandings and gifts, but they can have a common purpose. It's the common purpose which directs the organization forward. Okay, so the common purpose itself becomes like the angel or the god or the whatever of the task at hand, and then your job here is to progress in terms of how these people mix together, work together and live together to create a harmonious progression forward. And finally, the lightning struck tower reversed, which I think is curious because it's about inspiration. A lot of the general message of this three card reading appears to be more to do with difficulties being removed and something positive being created. So what needs work? What new perspective should descend into your life? How should you go through the process of bringing about that transformation? Alright. If you like what I've done here, hit that like button because thumbs up are really, really important and they help my channel to exist. This is my lifeblood. Okay? <laughs> my life support system is the like button. 
there's also sharing, subscribing, rating, favouriting, and all that kind of stuff. And um, there are, yeah, of course, rating is doing the thumbs up, isn't it? I should, yeah, I really should rethink how I put that. But either way, there's also a bell there which you can click, which I would strongly recommend everybody do because that bell is good. That is a good bell. It is a bell to be reckoned with. No, I can't support that at all. Anyway, and for those of you who like what I do and is quite keen on like me putting out lots of lovely content for you and you want to encourage me to put out even more content, I am your online street performer for today. I have my cap out on the street in the form of the super thanks button, which is the shape of a heart and has a dollar sign in it. And here is a cat because you're on the internet and you're on YouTube and you like cats. And this is probably going to be the, the thing which makes you feel really, really happy. There we go. Nice soft fluffy muggy for you to um, look at and go, oh, isn't he cute? Because he is cute. So um, if you want more footage of the cats, um, that will require much more um, or something of others. I don't know. <laughs> Oh dear. And I, I look forward to speaking to you again soon sometime. Alright, look after yourself. Bye for now.